Hi, this is Paula with GameCaseWorld.com and today I'm going to be modifying a universal game case into a NES case, uh, NES being Nintendo Entertainment System. And this regular case has these big old plastic brackets and you can see that the cartridge does not fit. So we're going to make the cartridge fit today using some old fashioned tools. I have my tools kind of laid out here for you to see. Um, starting over here with the most important, I have a Dremel 4000, which is kind of a higher end Dremel, if you can see that. I have a pretty heavy duty bit on it, you can see that too. I think this bit actually comes standard with this particular model. You can also see I have some melted plastic around the shank. That's not very good to have. You Usually after about five cases you have to take this off and clean it. And to clean the shank, you use pliers and a little bit of uh, luck. Some of the other tools that you might want is a Ryobi sander. I don't use this much anymore, but when I started out, I wasn't as good as I am now and needed a sander. So this is a Ryobi. Uh, these little kits are kind of valuable. They have some sanding bits and stuff in here that are nice to have. A uh, sanding block. I've got some more sanding tools right here. Uh, of course, you have to use uh, glasses, safety glasses. Uh, this is a must. You have a little bit of plastic. That's this gets really hot. It can fly up into your eye and melt into your cornea. I actually knew that happened to somebody that I knew, and uh, they had to have an like, operation on their eye. Not good. So the very first thing you're going to use is this right here. It's a box cutter. Uh, I'm going to try to show you. I don't know if it's going to show up on tape. Uh, right now we're kind of down in my basement and this is my workshop. But there is a piece of plastic that holds this bracket into place. And if you cut this bracket just off, this uh, piece of plastic gets in the way. So what you want to do is cut it. Alright, I have one done over here, although I need to cut these brackets for this too. Once you have those set, uh, ah, my stuff around. It helps to be neat. I always like to keep my workspace pretty neat. I have a bench, I have uh, you know something on it that won't scratch my case. This needs to be set low enough that you don't melt your case, but high enough that you can actually cut. You want to cut as fast as you can, because the longer that you stay on one of these brackets, it's going to melt. And melt isn't good, it creates these little um, kind of balls of plastic that's not very attractive. So I set this to about a 12 on my dial, and we're going to see what happens. started it would take me as long as five or ten minutes to get these cut out so practice is uh, a really good thing if you see something that sticks up a little bit high just go back over it and slice it off like that let's go over to the final product well first of all I'll show you like our wizard warrior case see it now fits but we want to fit this case a little bit more securely so we're going to use some foam tape I'll put some foam tape inside of the case put my cassette in and we did the cover for this case and we're done